believe that God's food is the key to uniting the whole human family worldwide. And here's why. It's because most of it grows primarily in currently third world countries. Okay. But once everyone from the tip top of North America and Russia to the absolute bottom of South America and New Zealand, once everyone gets on the God food centric diet. Okay. So from my experience, the only main rules are cocoa centric, like as much cocoa as you can comfortably consume, you know, given your lifestyle throughout the day, especially first thing in the morning, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, and then because I live in GMO wheat, North America, you must avoid all wheat and gluten because it's not real wheat. Okay. Anyways, let's just call it cocoa centric diet, God food centric diet. That's the main thing. Okay. Um, I actually believe that it is the key to bringing the entire human family together like never before. Okay. Cause most cocoa grows in currently third world countries. Okay. Everyone needs to embrace everyone and joy is common to us all. Feeling good and loving God is common to us all. And whether you're, you, you live in Africa or America or Asia, okay, everyone wants to feel good and everyone wants to feel maximally happy. Well, God ordained one tree that has his official name on it. I've talked about this before, okay? If everyone worldwide acknowledges the cocoa-centric diet as number one, the key to constant daily, weekly maximum happiness and health, and number two, the key to longevity as well, guess what you have just done? You have officially united the entire human family of every tribe, color, na race, and nation using one single food that has God's name at the front of it. Theobroma, which means God food. And I believe it. I, I believe with all my heart that God is going to use pure natural cocoa powder to unite the peoples of the world in joy and happiness and love for God like never before in the history of the world. Okay? And I believe there's going to be huge parties, international-sized parties, in this world with pure natural cocoa as the shining star of the party, that it is the official drink of choice at the party, okay? Um, and, uh, my goodness, whatever. And, um, there you go. I just, um, all right, okay. So, God will glorify himself, um, as I've said before, you take the two-week experiment for yourself. Uh, you'll feel the dramatic difference in your own happiness in life. And uh, you'll be convinced of everything that I'm saying. It's it's not that hard. Um, Coco applies to everyone. Okay. Um, so, um, I'm excited about it. Okay. Oh, my, my, my. Okay. So, there you go. Um, it is the key. Okay. Um, little children love cocoa and it makes them happy. Seniors love cocoa and it makes them happy. Um, you know, uh, too, too, eh, I could go on, you know, excessive cocoa will not kill you. On the contrary, excessive alcohol can kill you. You know, these, these are basic comparison factors that, um, you know, place cocoa as the king of happiness foods, period, period. Okay. For, for, for maximum human happiness that is sustainable with no downers and no negatives and no side effects over a 24-7 lifetime, Coco wins. I'm, I'm, not talk, I'm not talking about some like temporary unhealthy high that doesn't last and has all sorts of fallouts and ill health effects and all sorts of junk like that. It makes people do perverse things and all that stuff. No, no, no. I'm talking about the winner. For every human being's maximum 24-7 feel-good happiness without any side effects or downers or negative effects on their health. In fact, it's only boosts upon their health. Cocoa powder wins. It wins the global, international, worldwide, through and through competition for the only substance that is the very best. Okay? It's a dramatic statement, but it wins. Okay? 
And once you understand that, once you experience it for yourself, you can, it's not easy. Just like any physics law of the universe that has been discovered, it's not easy to extrapolate the law and the benefit to the entire human race and what the entire human planet will look like when everyone understands this and when everyone is practicing the cococentric diet. Okay? There will be incredible levels of love, unity, togetherness, forgiveness, happiness, teamwork, feel good, uh, laughter, um, holiness, okay, joy in the Holy Ghost, um, parties that are astronomically long, okay, with no hangovers in the morning, um, and, um, and it's all going to be to the glory of God, because the stuff is called Theobroma, which means God food. Done. God takes the cake again, folks. Don't argue with God. Don't argue with the best name of any plant in the universe. There's no name better on any species in the universe that you can shove in your mouth other than Theobroma, which means God food. Show me a better name in the scientific books that has a better history and actual working capabilities than this. It doesn't exist. Okay? So you've met your maker. <laughs> you've met the champion. You can either jump in or stay out. <laughs> Oh, praise God. Okay, so, uh, confess the Godhood of Jesus Christ today. Uh, the Satan. Oh, I could go on. Okay. Oh, lots of fun stuff. So I'm going to get happy today. Two can dine for one ninety nine. Oh, yeah. I'm like, every human on earth, every human on earth can live in incredible happiness. I've done this myself. Even with a breakfast of pure white rice and cocoa. <laughs> You're in paradise for the whole day. And the whole world can eat that. Come on, people. See the big picture. See what God can do for the glory of his name and the happiness of the world.